Hey, what's up, Larry? Hey, what's up, buddy? Hell yeah. Why don't you start with um, telling the people what's up with you, buddy? Shit, you know, straight game on from Detroit. Uh, you know, affiliates with Band Gang. Uh, I just uh, recently just um, been working for real. Like, just working, trying to venture out from the city and shit like that. Oh, yeah, why don't you tell the people where you from? Uh, Detroit. Detroit? Yeah. What part of Detroit? Puritan, west side. Oh, yeah. How it feel to be out here in the Bay? Shit, just being in a different scenery, that shit feel good as hell. Like, palm trees, you know what I'm saying? We don't see this type of shit. <coughs> oh, yeah. <coughs> shit, yeah. <coughs> Two days ago was the first hot day in Detroit. Bro. Seven people got shot in seven hours in six different locations. God damn, man. And, this, and our shit ain't nowhere near as big as this motherfucker. Yeah. The way the bay bigger than Detroit, where y'all from? Hell yeah. Swear to God. Both sides, like west and east, all together. Like, our shit is small as fuck. God damn. It's 600,000 people that stay in Detroit. You been to Oakland and San Francisco already, too, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, we in Pittsburgh right now. We in my hometown, Pittsburgh, California. Hell yeah. How you like it out here, though? I mean, shit, I, I fuck with it. I fuck around. Like, I can get used to this shit for sure. Yeah, yeah. Is it a lot of artists tapping in now that you out here? Yeah, yeah. You know, they always be tapping in when when I be at home and shit, but now that I'm here, you know, they a little more serious. Yeah. Shit like that. Yeah, yeah. What I want to say, um, uh, what's, what's some of the new music you working on right now and shit? Any new music? Uh, I do albums, mixtapes. Yeah, I just dropped a uh, mixtape called Sideshow Bob. You can go get that on all the uh, uh, Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, all that shit. Uh, I got two uh, videos I just dropped uh, from my project. I just shot one with We The Party Shine. Uh, and I'm about to uh, drop a new CD called uh, Black Mass Bandit sometime next month. Any features on there? Uh, yeah, I got a lot of features for the city, you know, like with Diddy, uh, Bad Gang, Shred Gang, yeah. uh, who else I got on there? I'm gonna try to get, uh, Cuban Savage on some shit, yeah. uh, yeah. Filthy said he gonna look out for me on some shit, uh, shit, that's probably, I don't know, who else, how, we, we knock some shit down and that shit sound good, then, yeah, yeah. That's how it's gonna be. Oh, yeah, most definitely. I was gonna ask you too, how y'all come up with the Shred Gang? And how did y'all link up with Band Gang? Like, how did y'all start that whole little movement? See, we we already always grew up together. Like, you know what I'm saying? I yeah. knew Biggs, all, Pay, all them since they was kids. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm yeah. older than them. Yeah. I knew them since they was like eight, you know, 10. Yeah. Pay like eight, Biggs and them like 10, you know? And Hey, they been doing this shit since then. Yeah. But you know, niggas ain't take them serious. They was kids, you know, they just kept perfecting and then took off. And then one time we came out here, we came to Cali. We was fucking with Project popping them and shit. And then when we went back to the D, we just always was in the stool with them niggas. And then uh, that nigga Pay was doing one song. It was called Money and Power. And he was like, uh, my man, both of my niggas from uh, from jail, they my niggas, you know what I'm saying, paid them, look up to them niggas and shit. Yeah. So they called home, they both got on the song talking shit. I'm like, I'm finna jump on this bitch. He like, come on. So I waited like 20 minutes and wrote a little shit. I'm like, I'm for real, nigga, I'm finna jump on this bitch. He yeah. like, bitch, come on. <laughs> He's like, bitch, come on. So I'm like, fuck it, I'm about to jump on this bitch. Yeah. Jumped on it. I'm like, you fuck with that shit? He like, bro, I fuck with that shit, bro. So then after that, me and Bugs was just in the stool like, Probably like eight, nine days straight, yeah. spending the night in that bitch. Yeah. And then that's how we came up with the first CD that we did called Shred Gang. Did that bitch in like six days, yeah. like 18 songs. And then after that, we just been staying consistent with this shit for real. Yeah, yeah. Well, definitely. What all have you been doing out here since you've been out here in the day? Hella features, working on shit, doing EPs and shit with niggas. Yeah. You know, just tapping in with shit. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, yeah, we just, um, at the shoot we just did, you were telling me about the, uh, the little Kayla situation, how, <laughs> how y'all hit the other little Kayla first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. you gotta tell you gotta say that shit, bro. All right, so look, the first time we came out here, you know, we was, tap, we was tapping in with the fans and shit, like, who we need to, uh, do some music with, we was like, who are popping female artists out here and shit, they like, uh, 
Lil Kayla shit, Lil Kayla and shit, Lil Kayla. Yeah. So we ended up reaching out to uh, which one is it? The y'all, well, you see Lil Kayla, right? Yeah. We ended up reaching That's out the to her from the town, right? So when we reached out to her and shit, and uh, she was gonna set up some studio time and shit. So uh, we talking to somebody like, no, y'all reached out to the wrong one. We ain't talking about her. We talking about this one. So we reached out to her, got uh, tapped in with her and shit. Got in the, I'm, I'm trying to think, did we get in the school with her that time? I don't know. But I know she had she had sent the something. Me and Bugs had jumped on the boat. But uh, long story short, she, uh, the other little Kayla, the UC little Kayla, was calling us like, damn, what's up, y'all? Y'all spent somebody saying, like, I guess, like a big <laughs> producer or some yeah. shit. And we like, shit, I mean, fuck it. You know, like, for real, like, we ain't get here with that nigga anyway. Yeah. And then we like, shit. We called the wrong little Kayla anyways. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was having funny, dog. How do it feel to be as big as you is now and like, you know, going to different cities and states and, you know, actually having fans and motherfuckers recognizing you and all this shit, like love and all this shit? That shit just still don't seem real. Cause like, yeah, before all this shit, like I'm, I be in the streets, like, you know? And for a nigga like, uh, for a long time, I had to get used to that shit. I used to always think like niggas was plotting and you know, when I see a nigga looking and whispering and shit, so you know, I used to be on tip like, what the fuck is you doing? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Niggas like, nah, bro, we fuck with your music. Well, yeah. and, you know what I'm saying? It just took me a while to get used to that shit. Yeah, yeah. That shit, that, that shit sweet as hell though, I fuck with that shit. Did it get big in your city first? Like, did it get big in Detroit first and then it expanded like to the other city and states? I mean, I, I really can't say because when I first, when I first drop, ever dropped a song, it, you know, of course it, it picked up out in, the, in Detroit and shit, but yeah. they fan base was already a big in California too. So, you know, it picked up in California a lot because yeah. once I dropped my first song, I was seeing motherfuckers coming on there like Cali fucking with you, Cali fucking with you. And then, you know, they was already fucking with me because I came out here the first time with them Hell and yeah. just fucking around. Hell yeah, most definitely. How many times you been out here to Cali and to the Bay? Like, you been... You know, the Bay and L.A. is different. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I don't know if you've been to L.A. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now, see, a lot of people don't know I was born in, like, L.A. For real? Yeah, like, Riverside. For real. But I, I ain't stay out there long, but for, like, a year. Yeah. And then I moved to Detroit. But I done been to motherfucking L.A. like two, three times. But the Bay, I done been out here, like, probably five times, six times. Oh, yeah, you been out here in yeah, L.A. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah I been moved. out the, the last the last two times I was out here, the last time I was out here, like, 12 days. Yeah. And then this time, I'm probably going to be out here, like, a month. Hell yeah. What kind of weed you been smoking on since you been cookies. out here? Cookies. That's all I smoke yeah. here. Cookies. At the crib, like, <laughs> cookies. Hell yeah. Um, nothing else. Most definitely. Any upcoming shows or anything out here? Uh, I mean, not not right now. We can we definitely can set some shit up, for sure. Yeah. But... No, not right now. Just out here, you know, tapping in with the artists, you know, trying to venture out, yeah. get that fan base everywhere. What artists are you willing to? Like, what artists do you want to work with, or are you really looking forward to working with? Uh, shit. You know, I got I got shit with uh my nigga Roller, I Roller. I got some shit with my nigga uh my nigga Book, uh, Cholo, uh, Leaky Bo. Um, who else? Banger. Uh, for sure, gonna do some shit with uh, Lil Kayla, some more Lil, some more shit. Hell yeah. Um, get in there with Papa. Shit, and whoever got their bag right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Whoever got their bag right. Yeah. Hell yeah, most definitely. Yeah, um, have you got on the Bay Area beat yet? You feel me? I hear all y'all shit. Like the, the 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 first time I came, well, I ain't gonna say it, the first time I came out here actually rapping. Yeah, I got on the Bay Area beat with uh, with uh, come to the uh, come to the car shop, bro. Yeah, my man's about to come out. Roller about to come out right now. Come get you. Uh, you gonna see him walking out? You see him? Hey, huh, Roller? Get us the Roller. Get us the Roller, buddy. Hell yeah. But yeah, the first time I came out here, I uh, jumped on the beat with uh, Sleepy D, D-Lo, and my man's uh, Big Cat, Free Big Cat. How it feel to be on a, I know that was like a different type beat to be rapping on and shit. 
Y'all be hella different from our shit, bro. Yeah. I mean, I really, as long as it got like some type of like, you know, baseline and yeah. I really can do any type of beat, but you know, it's just like, y'all beats, you know, got that, <laughs> <laughs> that bounce to it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? We got yeah. that grimy shit. Yeah. That Detroit shit, like, hella fast, too. Like, y'all yeah. rap more fast. Like, y'all yeah. style way different, though. But you feel me? They already niggas picking on this shit. Uh-huh. Like, you feel me? Hell yeah. Most definitely, bro. Shit, where can, um, where can people find your music at? Your Instagram, your music? Uh, you my Instagram and my Twitter is uh, Uncle Two Necklace. U-N-K-L-E, number two, N-E-C-K-L-E-S-S. And then uh, you can find my music on, uh, you know, YouTube, Shred Gang Mom. You can go on uh, Apple Music, uh, Spotify, Google Play, all that shit. Look it up. <clears throat> um, shit. It's nice about it for real. About it for real. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. Well, shit, buddy. Thank you for sliding through, bro. You know, it's good. Yeah, man. Anytime. So, much Appreciate it, man. Uh, Brody Shumpert, can we some questions real quick? You gotta try the camera? No. You gonna just cut it off, say the Hello? Yeah. Oh, what's that name? Uh, shit. Yep. I'm right here, um, I'm at the, uh, car shop right here, uh, by the old skating ring. Uh, shit. After that, you want me to call you soda? Alright, so. Good, man. See, I never did a book, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all see them motherfuckers. You see some of the good motherfuckers on the numbers, too. That was the first day. I was really getting my... Yeah, I'm gonna call these questions real quick.